Hello everybody, uh, Matt the Rug here. So I'm gonna be putting together a sim rig. I'm gonna try to do this pretty quick. Uh, the lighting's not great, but I'm just gonna show it to you. So this is really, really simple. If you wanna do a sim rig, very simple. And it's also like semi-collapsible. So I've done this before. I'm upgrading the PPC, making it a little bit wider. Hopefully that'll make it more sturdy. Um, so I'll show you how it's done. Really simple and um, like I said, it's collapsible, so it's good for storage. So let's get into it. Okay, so what we have are a bunch of two foot, I went with one and a quarter inch PVC and a bunch of joints around. So we're just gonna kind of go one at a time here. I've got a chair here as well. I ended up uh, getting this for free. Um, first thing you need to do is get your PVC mounted on the bottom of the chair somehow. I just kind of screwed mine in. All right, so we're gonna take the first of our L joints, pop those onto here, okay? So these, I actually don't glue in with the purple primer. These I keep on so that I can remove the chair for storage, all right? So I just put these on as hard as I can, and we'll go from there. Okay, so all my PVC running this way, I have is two feet wide. Um, now, figuring out the length for your feet is a little bit different. So what I did here, I've already made the cuts on these. But essentially what I did is this first size here is how far to where the wheel is going to be in front of me. So I just kind of sat down and I wanted it to be like kind of right over my knee. So as you can see, there's my knee. There's where that joint is and that's when I'm all the way back. Um, so then I made a cut like at where my knee was and then I went to where my feet would be for the last cut, okay? very simple so these are not these are going to be cut to the size of you your body and your chair so uh, like i said i went right over the knee for these uh three-way joints here and just to where my feet are going to be for the rest of it okay so we're definitely going to want to use the purple primer coming out of the chair you don't want to put it into the chair here but coming out of the chair into the long piece because there's going to be a lot of stress on it. So you're going to want a purple primer in the small piece that goes to your knee and then purple primer it to this joint and then purple primer this to the L joint that we're going to put on the end here. So all of this is going to be purple primed together. All right, so now you can see whatever chair you decide to use and then purple primed all this together because uh, there's going to be a lot of stress on that part of the rig, okay? Um, now, for this part where the pedals go, you got to do a little bit more work. So, let's get into that. Okay, so the next thing I did here is I drilled some holes in for the mounts on the bottom of my um, tires. Just into a piece of wood, real thin uh, piece of wood. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. Like I said, I'm, it's not going to be visually appealing when you do yours. You can obviously paint it at the end and make it look pretty um, right now I'm just getting functionality done and you can always decorate it later okay so uh, once you got your holes in there we need to put holes in to get into the PVC pipe okay so now I've got three inch bolts here so I'm gonna secure this to here so you might be able to get away with um, two and a half inch bolts or you might need longer it just depends on your length of wood so this goes through the PVC pipe, you're gonna want it to be about halfway each side. And then you want your mount to the uh, wheels to be, uh, to the pedal to be uh, behind it, okay? So like where you can still access it, so not overlapping. Okay, so now you can see I've got the uh, PVC mounted to the wheels. Get that tightened up. Screws are kind of stripped, which is a pain. But um, yeah, so these screws that go into my wheelbase, it didn't come with my wheel. I actually found them in, strangely enough, uh, like the extra screws in my TV mount set. Um, I didn't use them for my TV mount, but they fit perfectly uh, to be a mount into my wheels, which was quite convenient. So um, you just have to figure out how to, you know, what um, connection point you have for your wheels. This is the Logitech here. Now you can see, the wheels are there, so that'll go on to the end of it, which I'll show in just a second. So if you want to purple prime this, you can. Um, I'm actually going to. 
Um, but if you want to be able to remove the wheels a little easier, maybe, or the pedals a little easier, maybe you don't, but the pedals, I'm not really going to be moving around. Um, and you can always just unscrew it from the back. So I am going to purple prime, prime these two joints together here. Uh, and then we'll start building up to get where the wheel goes, okay? Okay, so here I am sitting in it. And as you can see, these I had cut to two feet. So for me, um, I think that's actually a little bit too high because the wheel's going to go. There's going to be another piece of PPC here that's going to add a few inches. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did uh, for this to get a piece of wood um, that the wheel will actually connect to. So I think I'm going to take about maybe four six or four inches off of these um, and that'll be kind of a comfort thing for you so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and cut that and be back sure i've got the wheel there now um, i don't have it plugged in but just to make sure the height looks okay here you obviously have your screen above it um feels pretty good i think maybe a little shorter but i can always adjust that later i think i'm gonna go ahead and stick with it um, so very important note here. If you want this to be able to kind of break apart into pieces, do not put purple primer up here going up. Then you'll always be able to pop the wheel off, right? So once we get the wheel mount here, and then it'll kind of be foldable, as you can see, and it's also removable from the chair. So we're going to make it three parts that are really simple to put back together. Um, one warning though with this i just want to say the reason why i'm having to rebuild it is taking this in and out you got to be really careful not to put too much stress on it because i did snap my joint here um, and that's kind of why it's getting rebuilt so don't shake it too much trying to get it out just i would recommend if you can get one out twisting and just pulling straight up um, and that should extend the life of it uh, or if you don't need it to be able to pop it away for storage, you could glue this in just for more stability, okay? Okay, so now we've glued these joints here together in both ways, and we're going to go ahead and attach the wheel to it. So you're going to need another piece of wood, all right? Okay, so three quick holes just straight through the PVC pipe. Um, if you're a perfectionist, you might want to measure it out. Again, I'm just kind of going quick and dirty here, but... Um, then we'll go ahead and put the wood on it. And I already put one hole in this wood, but once you do the PP, you're gonna to wanna to do the PVC first, and then uh, go back through the other side, through the PVC into the wood, and then you're gonna nut and bolt it. All right, so you can see we went through there, um, into here, we'll slap the bolts on there, and then we're pretty much done. Okay, so here it is all finished. So as you can see, very simple. And like I said, um, Storage wise is pretty good. So if you wanted to, you could paint it. You could obviously use uh, nicer pieces of wood. I just kind of used what I had around the house. Try to do it on like the minimum budget possible to have yourself a nice um, storage, um, storage friendly rig uh, that you can use. So I'll show it here kind of packed up and uh, show you what, what I mean, okay? Okay, so here's what I mean. Um... As you can see it still takes up a fair amount of space but a lot better than it being just constantly set up throughout the house for you know in your living room so uh if you live alone you probably wouldn't need this but uh for me you know it uh, makes sense to try to have it minimize the space as much as possible um there's lots of things you can do to make this better i'm sure you might have ideas uh you probably if you've got wood floor like i do want to put um a rug down or something underneath it while you're racing and then i'll put a clip of uh, me driving with it the first night in nascar heat uh top of top of three wide um three corners three four was fourth came out second pretty good battle um so yeah that that's it thanks for watching